Good afternoon. This is Fred Oltarsh at the Liebenman Trading Desk. And uh, today we're going to discuss uh, my favorite strategy, options pairs. And uh, most of you probably never uh, think of them in terms of calling them options pairs. Or you're probably familiar with call spreads and put spreads and uh, you know, various other well-known strategies. And, and options pairs is, in fact, a combination of a call spread and a put spread. And it can give you some excellent value. So we're going to look at it in terms of analyzing the implied volatility skew to create value in certain markets. Uh, the options pair strategy is a defined risk spread where transactions utilize the Black-Scholes model to create spread treads with a mathematical and a logical advantage. We're going to let you use your own chart points and market bias to pick the best markets and their points of initiation of a strategy. So the options pair strategy gets you excellent value. What we have to do is find the markets where it's most beneficial to use it and of course make sure that our market bias matches the market where we're going to initiate the strategy. The following analysis includes transactions from uh, data prices that are provided from the close only and do not include commissions or any extraneous factors like market illiquidity. Futures and commodities trading involves significant risk and is not suitable for every investor. Lieberman Futures introduces options pairs, the options strategy which uses the implied volatility skew to establish an options position with a theoretical edge. Just to reiterate, uh, the skew means the slope of the implied volatility in an options market. So, for example, if you're trading gold at $1,300 an ounce and the 1,300 strike is 17 vol and the 1,500 strike is 28 vol, you can see that there's a call skew. And the add the money is at one level and the add of the money is at another level and they go up accordingly. And that's a skew. Um, ideal for hedging and speculating long or short positions in a multitude of markets. Depends which way the skew is to decide is if, if it's in your benefit to use it with your market violence. With it, you initiate positions with good risk reward parameters. It's not as easy to say as it is to do with this strategy. We use the implied volatility skew of the market to generate a position which meets the goals, again, of our market bias. We can generate a cash flow on a transaction which would normally have about a 50-50 chance of occurring. So I like to equate it with the tossing of a coin, whereby if you would normally win or lose, you would expect it to be a 50-50 proposition, and you'd get paid, if you bet a dollar, you'd get paid a dollar to win, and if you bet a dollar and you lost, you'd lose the dollar. In this case, as you'll see in some of the transactions that we listed, uh, if you put up $10, you could actually make $11, or you could only lose $9. There's an advantage that's provided by the SKU. So if you have the right market bias, you can really use this, this ability to take advantage of the SKU. The goal of the strategy is to initiate a position with the calls and puts as equidistant as possible from the current trading price. At the exact equidistant point, the strategy shows how trading certain spreads versus other spreads give one a quantifiable advantage. Just as the toss of a coin sets up an equally likely event, heads or tails, the strategy when the future settlement price is the same distance from the call and the put strikes creates a meaningful comparative relationship. The options pair strategy locates trading opportunities with a similar risk scenario like the toss of a coin, except for significantly different payouts. A sample options pairs transaction. The following pages exemplify the methodology behind the strategy. Essential to the transaction is the existence of a significant market skew. If we had implied volatility run across the board at the same level, thereby having no skew, this strategy would not be worthwhile. The fact is we need a market skew to take advantage of the benefits that the, mar that the market provides us. While we have only attached a few strategies, 
The following markets usually have a skew for an effective utilization of the strategy. The S&P, crude, coffee, sugar, cotton, soybeans, corn, and wheat all provide skews that we can take advantage of. There are other markets that provide it as well, but the liquidity in those markets is not as good, and therefore we don't recommend them. Here's an example of a short S&P trade. In the S&P, the transaction has to be for a short position, otherwise an options pair is not worthwhile. Selling a call spread is a limited risk way to get short the market, while buying a put spread is also a limited way to get short the market. Here are the details of the limited risk short position using options pairs. As you can see, we're going to sell the 1220 calls. We're going to buy the 1260 calls. We're going to use these prices, and we're going to generate a premium of 1530 by selling the call spread. At the same time, we're going to buy the 1120 puts, sell the 1080 puts for a debit of 1110. This gives us a total spread transaction credit of 420 points, or $1,050. Now, a 40-point spread in the S&P is worth 10000 So we're going to risk $8,950 to make 11050 And as you can see, this one settled last night. This is an example. It's not from last night. In fact, it's from a month ago. But the S&P settled at 11680000 it's uh, 51.10 to the calls. The distance from the settlement price to the first call is 51.10. And the difference from the settlement of the put to the puts price is 48.90. So we're actually closer to where we were going to go short than we were going to go short on the upside, our risk. So in this particular example, you could have put on the position for a credit of $1,050. If, if it settled anywhere between... 1220 and 1120, you would make 1,050. If not, you would potentially lose up to 10, nine, well, 8950, and you would gain up to 11,050. So, as you can see from this strategy, on the date in question, you could put on a position with a substantial advantage in your favor, and have it essentially give you about a 5% window where if it went up or down 5%, you would just take in the money uh, on the transaction. So options pairs provides you, in this example, quite an opportunity to put on a position that enhances your value, particularly if you already wanted to get short or to hedge your long S&P position. Here's another example, in cotton. Um, in this case, you would go long cotton. So you would buy the 111 strike and you sell the 117 strike. You'd sell the 103 puts, and you'd buy the 97 puts. The market was trading almost 107 even. So as you can see, it was about 4 percentage of points away. And if you go over here, you were going to sell the put spread for 267 and buy the call spread for 179, giving you an 88-point credit or $440 on what was essentially a 600-point spread or $3,000. So your maximum risk is 2560 and your maximum profit potential is 3440. Once again, the options pairs position, if you were going to go long, gives you a great opportunity to put on a position with a very nice risk reward. In the last example, we're going to do soybeans. Um, this is a long position for soybeans. Um, the current price is 119.54. Um, we're going to buy the call spread, we're going to sell the put spread, and we're going to take in a $305 credit on about a $3,000 position. So maximum risk is $2,695. Maximum profit potential is $3,305. Again, because of the structure of the SKU, you can put on this position with approximately a 10% advantage in all of these trades. If we don't go outside of the parameters, then you make money. The advantages of the, option stra of the strategy are that it establishes a long or short options position 6 to 8% away from the settlement price. It provides for a meaningful price advantage for initiating the position. It generates as much as a 
of the value of the spread as a credit for establishing the position. And the position is generated when a market bias exists, which is benefited by using the options strategy position. And it takes advantage of the applied volatility skew. I hope you found this option pairs seminar informative. It's not the easiest con it's not the easiest thing to grasp, and yet it's a tremendous position that can take advantage of the options market skew to utilize it when you have a market bias that you're looking for a way to enhance with an options position. My background includes 15 years as an options market maker on the floor of NYMEX and NYBOT ICE Futures, plus seven years as the head of risk management at NYBOT ICE Futures. If you feel that trading option strategies with good value would be benefit, beneficial to you, you should call me at 212-383-9453 or open an account by following the guide at www.liebenman.com. For questions or comments, you can always email me at fred.oltarsh at liebenman.com. It's been a pleasure discussing this with you. I hope that you've taken away some useful tips from the discussion, and I would welcome the opportunity to explain it for you further in detail if you give me a call. So once again, thank you very much.